guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another tag video. I got tagged by the lovely Andre. Thank you so much, Han, for tagging me. And the tag name is called Luxury Brand Story Tag. And there is eight questions. Basically, you pick a brand that you want to answer those eight questions with. I didn't know which one to pick because uh, of course, I've been a Louis Vuitton lover for a long time, but I also love all other brands. And uh, yes, I am loyal to LV, but I also really like um, a lot of different bags, not necessarily because of the brands. Um, and so I've decided to pick two brands and I'm gonna just basically answer each question with uh, the two brands in mind and they are LV and Chanel and the reason why I picked those two is because I have the most bags from these two fashion houses so I'm just gonna focus on those two so I'm I'm changing it a little bit but not really I'm just answering the question with more parameters <laughs> if you want and so the first question is what is your first wish list bag of that brand? I didn't really have a wish list for either brands. It's hard to say because I've always loved fashion. I've always loved uh, dressing up. I've always been girly and I've always loved bags and shoes and clothes, but it was not in the luxury. It, it was not in the luxury world. It was, you know, street fashion. And of course those are inspired by the luxury world so I guess if I have to answer this question the best I can I would say that uh, for both brands I it kind of I guess the uh, the urge to get something from either brand just kind of built up over time just by noticing other people wearing uh, bags from those brands and I knew I wanted a bag from both brands uh, I never even thought about buying small things it, it's just, that's just my mentality. It's like uh, go big or go home. And so if you haven't heard from my previous videos yet, uh, for LV, I bought the Almo PM in the Epi leather and the color is in the Cassis, which is a beautiful purple, shade of purple, and I still have that bag. So that was my very first bag that I bought, but it wasn't part of my wish list per se. I guess my wish list was non-existent, but I did see uh, friends that bought the Alma and so that was kind of always at the back of my mind so I guess that was my wish list or at least that was part of my wish list and then for Chanel it was just um, I mean I saw people wear Chanel flops and so I guess the Chanel flop was my wish list but it wasn't I didn't have a specific one I didn't know which one to choose I didn't know what to sign. I didn't know anything I I blindly bought stuff from both fashion houses at the time uh, as part of my first bags. <laughs> Question number two, what were your actual first purchases from for that brand? And so I already answered for LV, it was the Alma. And for Chanel, I didn't even know that the classic flat was more popular, but I ended up buying the uh, Chanel, class, uh, Chanel reissue uh, 2.55, and it was at the time in the limited edition caviar black caviar with routine ruthenium hardware and so i bought it in 2010 and for my alma i bought it in 2008. if you guys have been following my channel for a while you would know that i no longer have the reissue in fact i've, I've never really had it i uh, never had the chance to show it on my channel and it, that is because of my lack of knowledge and didn't know that the oh by the way i did get the medium size or they call it medium or large size and so it was quite tiny i basically put my full size wallet in it and then there was no space for anything else so i had that bag i think i got it like in february and i sold it like in october which was sad because i only had i only had the bag it was basically brand new i used it maybe like twice <laughs> once at a wedding it <laughs> And I was kind of scared to use it. Like, that's the thing. I Because I didn't know all the information that I know now and all the information that's available now on social media and on the internet and on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, blindly buying a bag that is that expensive, although it was 
much cheaper at the time, half the price I'd say, uh, it is, is really bad. <laughs> you end up uh, either selling it and making a loss or you, you ended up uh, you know, getting something so expensive that you, you can't make quite good use of. Um, in hindsight, of course, I wish that I didn't sell it because that bag would be so expensive now and I actually have a use for it now because now I know how to downsize and also now I need an evening bag. I wish I have it now, although I would still want it in gold hardware. <laughs> Question number three, uh, what is so special about this brand or these brands for me? Um, I don't know, for LV, uh, I mean, for either house, they have their history. So I'm not gonna go there. They both have good history amazing just wikipedia it and read about it um for me lv has always been um i don't know when i see it i don't think of it as like oh there's so much knockoffs or whatever i see it more as a it's so iconic and it's so um it just looks so classic and i'm referring to the monogram uh, although in the past i preferred the Dami ben because it was it screamed less logo mania and now i'm all for logo mania um so that and also i really love their canvas bags uh simply because their canvas i don't know they have one of the best canvas products out there they they are you know they're not indestructible but they're pretty close to it all of the canvas bags that i have i've never had issues with it they're so hard wearing they're waterproof um and they're lightweight and and they're just i don't know it's just so amazing i mean yes leather is always going to be leather and it's always going to be regarded as being more luxe but lv is able to make canvas feel luxe in fact they are probably uh they and uh i, I like the gucci um supreme canvas now um but in the past i didn't so like them are among the the top, in my opinion, the top house that can make such good quality and such uh, coveted canvas products. Um, other than that, they also have great customer service. I feel like um, most of the people around the globe would agree to that. Uh, yes, you get you know subpar services sometimes, but most of the time um, they will take care of you somehow or one way or another or another if you go back and you're persistent enough they will they will somehow you know listen and take care of you and so yes i've had my share of drama i guess but at the end of the day i still feel happy going back to lv and shop there if that makes sense so that's how i feel about that brand and that's what's special about them i feel um with Chanel, uh, I feel that, again, their bags are also uh, very, just very timeless. Like, look at any classic flap, uh, look at any of the flap bags that they have. Um, uh, they, they, they just scream timeless, iconic, and what's so amazing about their classic flaps especially, uh, or mini flaps, um, whether it's a jumbo or medium large or reissue they go with absolutely everything i i mean everything they go with sneakers and jeans and sweatshirt they go with i don't know i think if you wear sweatpants you would probably be able to pull it i mean i'm not gonna wear that and my sweatpants going to the gym ever but i think it would be totally fine if you did it, it kind of works uh, of course, it looks super dressy when you dress up and that's a given. So I just feel like their brand, uh, their their bags, their classic flaps are so versatile. So that's, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And um, what else is special about them? Their caviar leather is superb. Their quilting is a very, you know, scream Chanel, very iconic and... Um, yeah, when I think about quilted bags, I think about Chanel. And when I think of turn locks, I think of them, even though I'm pretty sure like Coach has their own turn locks and LV has their turn locks now. But when I think of turn lock, I like their turn lock more, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just my general feeling. But uh, yeah, so there's definitely the uh, 
uh, the feeling that uh, no matter which classic flap you get from Chanel, it's always going to be timeless, classic, and will absolutely go with anything you decide to wear. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I absolutely love their packaging, the camellia, the ribbon, the black box or white box. Um, I just love black and white. Number four, what are your, what is your favorite purchase from the house? So, um, LV, I don't know. I have so many favorites and that is because I only keep bags that I love reaching for and the runs that I don't, they end up leaving my collection. So they're all my favorites. But if I have to pick one, hmm. It's hard, I don't know. I would pick the Twice and the Neverfull. I'll cheat a bit. I think those two are my favorite. And I also love the Pochette Mises. If it didn't have those issues, I would love it even more. So yeah, I picked those three. <laughs> and for Chanel, mm, my Chanel accessories are my favorite. I love, absolutely love all the earrings and all the brooches that I have uh, and I want to get more and speaking of earrings I think uh, I mean I've always loved them but I think one of the best one of the person that definitely motivated me to go ahead and buy my first one is Mel in Melbourne hi babe if you're watching uh, she has such a wonderful collection and um, yeah I just after watching her video like a million times, I knew I had to go get my first pair and there was no going back. <laughs> and uh, if we're not talking about accessories, if we're talking about bags, I absolutely love my pre-love jumbo single flap, classic flap bag. Number five, what is my latest purchase? And for LV, let me think about it. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Um, my latest purchases from LV were not for myself. That's why I cannot think about it. It's um, I bought a pocket organizer in the Eclipse line, so in the men's line for my husband. So that was my latest purchase. And I also bought a repair uh, black luggage tag for my friend Amy Jo. Hey babe. Uh, it was for her shower. So um, yeah, those were my latest purchases, but I guess Bag wise, my latest purchase would have been this little guy right here, which I did a full review on recently. For Chanel, my latest purchase, actual latest purchase, was actually this brooch. This is the mini uh, silver brooch with um, crystal embellishments. I love this brooch. And bag wise, this was my latest purchase. This is the Cruise 2016 Square Mini in the caviar, shiny caviar and light gold hardware. Question number six, uh, will you stay loyal in five years for these brands? So yes and yes. Um, like I said, I, I think I speak for most people uh, when I say that uh, these two brands are no matter how long, how many years go by, uh, whether there are ups and downs, these two brands people will love forever and that's how I feel about them. I will always love LV and I will always want to buy more Chanel. <laughs> so yes, I will definitely be loyal to these two brands. Number seven, what is a starter piece that I would recommend for the brand? So I wish I knew that before before I went crazy and bought uh, those bags that um, I don't actually end up having and using. <laughs> but uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend buying uh, something small to try, unless you have my mentality like before, just go big or go home. So, okay, let's go for something small first. So for Chanel, I definitely recommend buying something like their accessories is just mm, out of this world. I, I love I love their brooches and I love their earrings. They simply go with everything. And yes, I have I have quite a few now, but I, I have a smaller collection, but I feel like every time I need to put together any outfit, I can still pick and choose just from the stuff that I have and I it, I basically can cover most outfits that I have. And they just they just make an outfit they really elevate them so i would recommend that and they're in the price range of um four or five six maybe seven hundred dollars if you choose a nice 
big brooch with embellishments. But if you're not into um, jewelry, I would say go with a card case. I think the flat card case is wonderful. Um, or you can go with the flat one. I, but I, I've come to realize that I am a flat card case person. And um, yeah, that's what I would go for. Or even like a, an O-zip case. Uh, those, those are wonderful starter pieces from Chanel. LV-wise, I highly, highly recommend the six key holder. It's my ultimate favorite piece. Um, I, I would always have a six key holder from the fashion house. And uh, if you don't have keys, which would probably not happen, but if you don't want the key holder, I would suggest um, their mini bushette. That, was, that would be what I would suggest. But if you want a bag, go for the staples, go for the uh, speedy or the neverfull. I think you can't go wrong with those. Number eight and last question, what am I buying next from the brands? Hmm, it's hard to say because I have a wish list. I don't always follow it. I'm hoping that uh, for LV that I can um, uh, buy the Speedy B again. <laughs> it's kind of weird because I just sold it. Let me explain. It's because I still really love the style and like I said, they always, Speedies are always going to be iconic. Uh, but I don't want to just buy it because it's iconic, but it is still a really useful bag to have um, and to um, travel with, if that makes sense. Uh, the only reason why I sold mine is because, well, not only reason, uh, but you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing it. But I, I, I just want to make sure that I, I will rebuy it, but not in the Mie Ben because the Mie Ben strap hurts me. So no more than me event strap for me. And so that's number reason, uh, reason number one. Number two is because uh, the zip opening, I mean, that's more minor if it wasn't because of the strap. So I think I will be willing to try it again, but uh, in monogram and vachetta. So that's probably what I'm gonna get from them. I don't know for sure. I'll see how I feel about it for Chanel. Oh, I want to get everything from Chanel. I'll probably just go for, you know, more accessories. I still want a small O case. I don't have one yet. I still want one. Uh, and I'll always go back and browse their earrings and, and brooches. I mean, I even like their necklaces. I like the choker style ones. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm going to be getting more of from these brands but like i said the wish lists always change if you guys haven't seen my wish list video yet i made one for 2017 i will make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out and so yeah those were my question i hope you guys enjoyed it i will actually tag quite a few people i know the ones that have been tagged so i'm not going to re-tag them because i know andrew tagged a bunch of you so i wrote down laura from have louis we'll travel Two Catherines, one is Catherine is a cat and Cat L. And I would like to tag Nastasia because I love her and uh, Jerusha, I don't think she has been tagged. I would like to tag Kay from Diary of Bi Bagaholics. I would like to tag Shay because she tagged me in the other video and I want to hear what she says about it. And I want to tag Lala LV. Uh, hey June, Christina Brawley, Sarah Dong, and finally I want to tag Tiffany from BT channel because I know she just came back uh, to making more videos so I would love to hear what you guys uh, say about uh, this lovely tag and yeah I think that's it if I forgot anybody I'll just put it somewhere on the screen if you guys have not seen my uh, spring summer dress haul video you guys should check it out because I featured this in it and I spent so much time making that video but you guys love my first one so I will keep doing those so yeah I think that's uh, pretty much it for this video if you guys are new to my channel welcome and I hope that you stick around by subscribing to my channel so you won't miss out on my future videos and i think that's it thank you so much for watching i'm amy and i will talk to you again very soon bye